appropriation was established as uh, a result of a bill that passed in a special session in August, and shortly after the bill passed, the governor, in accordance with the legislation, appointed the five-member board. It's totally at the discretion of the governor. However, it, uh, in accordance with the law, it's necessary to consider uh, certain diversity factors, um, race, of course, uh, gender, uh, geographic location across the state. So we, we do have a diverse board makeup, and I personally believe that diverse boards tend to produce the best outcomes. Yeah, the first order of business was really to contract with a law firm to provide legal services. That milestone has been achieved and we'll be announcing who we selected as a board uh, to partner with us as a law firm. We'll be making that announcement in the next few days. Well, the lottery itself receives no funding from the taxpayers, no appropriation from the legislature. So the funding, the startup working capital, will come from a conventional bank loan. Now that we have a lawyer in place, we'll be seeking loans from uh, various financial institutions. Once we get that in place, we'll go to work hiring a staff and putting together policy and procedures and all the standard governance that are required to, to run a corporation. Although the law does not stipulate a specific deadline for the lottery to be uh, in production, we expect that some form of games will be available to Mississippians by the third quarter of 2019 and then in full swing by probably fourth quarter, first quarter 2020. That's our objective at this point. The appropriation of those funds is, is specified by the lottery law itself. The first 80 million of net proceeds produced by the lottery will go to the state highway fund. Any excess over that 80 million in a year will go to the education enhancement fund. That stays in place for the first 10 years of operation. After the first 10 years, the first 80 million of net proceeds go to the general fund and the excess still to the education enhancement. Well, it's, it's really not incumbent upon me, I believe, to, to weigh in on the, the merits or the potential risks of the lottery. The fact is, it's law. And the, the objective of this corporation and its charter is to maximize profit for the taxpayers of the state of Mississippi, and that's what this board intends to do.